So in the uh, annual lecture, I really set out the uh, deep-rooted, long-term currents that are underpinning Britain's two-party system, uh, including things like fragmentation, volatility, polarization, uh, and the emergence of outsider, challenger, populist parties. Uh, and I really argued that uh, Brexit is not the cause of all of that, but Brexit is exacerbating a lot of those underlying uh, movements. And it's now really introduced to the two main parties um, some really difficult strategic dilemmas uh, about uh, uh, where they're going next and how they're going to try and hold together increasingly uh, fragile uh, coalitions. So I think uh, some social scientists did see uh, the vote for Leave uh, coming. Um, uh, it's true that most uh, social scientists who responded to surveys that were done at the time um, felt that Remain was going to win. But, but I think that's also a very narrow view of um, the sort of strengths or weaknesses of social science. So a lot of the things, for example, that led to that vote to leave the European Union um, we had a very good handle on. You know, we knew that issues around um, Euroscepticism, um, concern over migration, how people are making decisions, the rise of populism. I think social science has done a very good job of explaining what was going on and also referendums and how they operate and how they work. So, yes, some so social scientists might not have predicted the exact outcome, um, but I don't think they would have been surprised uh, by that outcome, given all of the evidence and research that we had on the underlying drivers. So I think the 2016 referendum and its aftermath uh, has really um, delivered a wonderful opportunity to social science in that it's going to allow us to really interrogate uh, how we got to this moment. Um, it's going to really provide new energy, I think, to examine things like regional inequality, um, the role of value devised in politics, uh, volatility, vote, vote change, vote switching, um, the way in which our party politics is changing, the way in which our institutions might need to be reformed and changed, um, the way in which we as a society um, are evolving and some of the challenges that are part of that. Um, so even though we haven't quite had the political debate that um, perhaps some people had hoped for about how to renew and revise the social contract, um, I'm quite optimistic actually that I think social science will step up to that, um, that task and really uh, examine uh, with a fresh uh, set of eyes um, all of the social problems and challenges that Britain has faced. Uh, uh, is faced with as it navigates this post-referendum uh, climate.